Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims. If I did this right, you'll have gotten a double dose of Sims today. Simtastic for your Sim pleasure. I hope it's simulating. <laughs> um, the last episode, the reason I'm doing two and the last one ran a little long is because I'm a little frustrated. This is probably, I think, episode five. And I had thought for sure that either the Funk Nuggets or the Marstons would have come by by now. I was really hoping to see one of them or the other. Or both. So this episode, we're going to do a couple things. You can see a little shit shack there. We're going to try and finish the bedroom. Hey, everybody. Ha, waving. That means they're unhappy. <laughs> we're going to, well, we won't have the bedroom finished. We're going to try to make it a little more livable. And even if, oh, crap, she's bringing bills. And even if I have to cut or speed stuff out, at least finally have one of the neighbors come by. Uh, to my knowledge, there haven't been any. Maybe one walked by and I missed it. If so, I'm sure someone will have commented by the time this is up. All right, you go get the mail. Right, go take a shower, bunny suit. Oh, apparently Oral likes to be scared. Let's get some floors going on in here, too. Just something cheap. Repurpose boards. Okay, we can afford that. That room is really creepy now. It's got, it's got no windows. It's got no windows, as you can see. It's got no light bulbs in it. It's got this really creepy murderer floor. And then um, it's just got that kind of an opening. It's like you go in there and you never leave. Actually, let me reorganize the beds a second. Probably going to eventually set them up differently. Oh, poor Oral. He's not happy. Get some food or something, kid. How much is the bill? Is that 139? Okay, I'll go pay that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to just off screen for a bit until we get a neighbor to come by or if something like really cool happens. Mostly, I just want a neighbor to come by. There we go. Stop. Stop. I'm screaming. <laughs> Mrith, stop. What are the odds of that? Literally, the game just went a little bit. All this time I've been waiting for a neighbor and now one shows up. Mrith looks badass. Maybe he'll be my friend. Oh, that wasn't very manly how I greeted him. I was like, oh, Mrith, hi. Oh, don't don't look at our house. So let's, um, where is he? Right here? Balls flying right in my face. He's one of the fuck nugget clan. Oh, look, now he's making friends with Bob Bobberson. Oh, but don't talk bad about Snowy Panda. He doesn't even know her, and he's gossiping about her. I think Bob said he didn't like Bunny Suit, maybe? Or no, maybe he didn't like Mirth for that. But let's go pay the bill. Don't quit crying, Super Paul. It's all right. Oh, Orel, you're awesome cleaning up our shit shack. Yuck. I like how Mrith hasn't ran. If I was him, I would have ran from this house. <laughs> Told his whole family, never come here. No, pay the damn phone bill, asshole. How's there light in here? There's no windows. Aw. That puppy wants attention. Well, that's the start that we got Mrith here. Now I want to get... If I ask him to leave, maybe I can call him and he'll bring people over? Uh, I'll let him play with that fucking dog. <laughs> Why not? That makes him happy. And I'll have Super Paul take a shower. We gotta get some of these people better jobs. Oh, look. People are sleeping. Yay. See, the Oral's grades getting better? No, they're still dropping. That's a problem. What's up, pimp? Mmm. I like how Robert's a campaign worker. He dresses like a pimp. He's like, give me some votes, baby. I got a guy to elect. Pimp of Mc... Pimpy McGee. Yeah. So, Mirth, how'd you like our house? You're the first one of the neighbor. Don't leave. We need friends. I like how he comes over to his house and he spends all the time with that dog. That fucking bitch. Taking all of our attention. <laughs> Oh. Uh, that's a weird way to play with the dog. Ka 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 ka. Aw, the dog likes him. 
That means he probably likes the dog better than anyone in the house. Ooh, what's Bunny Sue? Bunny Sue's gonna go tease him. <laughs> I'm in Marissa, I'm taking a shower! I'm taking a shower, sir. Please. Thank you. Oh, Bunny Sue was gonna tease Robert. I see how it is. Okay, Mirth, I'm gonna tell Mirth to go home and then I'm gonna try and call him. I'll shake his hand goodbye. Let's see if we can get him to bring some of the other clan people over. Alright, he's left the premises. Let's call a neighbor. Oh, Bunny Suit, uh, you got places to sleep now. We, we still actually need some more. Let me see if I can build. Build. Buy another bed. Let me build a bed for you. Maybe I'd have to pick beds. Alright, there you go, Bunny Suit. I got your own crappy brown bed just for you. Or actually, whoever ends up in it first, I guess. <laughs> Such an asshole to everyone in the house. Fuck Nuggets, Mirth. We're gonna invite Mirth over. Come on, Mirth, bring some of your friends. We want more neighbors. More. Come on, dude. Be cool. I was thinking of watching my plants grow, but your place might be more interesting to be over in a bit. Bring some of your friends. Oh. Damn it. I still don't know how we have light in there. Look, it's it's gradually getting better though. I love how Snowy Panda took the kids' bed though. She's like, no, that's that's what I'm gonna take. We're going to Why don't we put the toy chest in here? So Oral doesn't have to play outside anymore. Oh. What a rude ho host Super Paul is. Oh, I thought he was going to bed. Go to bed. I just called Mirth over and now I'm going- Oh wait, who's that? Don't- don't go to bed. That's, uh, uh, eccentric in Texas. Yeah, we're finally getting neighbors. Yo, what's up, eccentric? Dale Gribble wannabe? Like I'm gonna exterminate you, your bugs. Let's see, he should show up on the list here. I don't remember what family uh, he was from. Oh, he was a fuck nugget too. He doesn't like that dog. He's like, Mirth told me about that damn bitch. I don't like him. Oh, Super Paul's like, I'm sorry, eccentric. I don't like you. How can you hate that? I love bitches. Oh, a friend might don't tell. Is blue? Find out. <laughs> I love how Eccentric just rolled with it. There's trash everywhere. There's food on the floor next to the trash. He just picked up a can like everybody else. Oh. Super Paul's going to sleep. He's had enough of this. Oh, yeah. No, I'll greet Mirth. Yeah, let's, uh... I invited him over. The least I can do is say hi. You gonna go outside, butthead? Hey, welcome to my house. Do you remember when I told you to leave? <laughs> so I can make you get your friends? <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to sleep. Do whatever you want, Mrith. Just don't steal my shit. The guitar is mine, even though I have never played it yet. At least I don't think I have. Where my creative points? No. Is anybody happy yet? No. Miserable. Oh, Snowy Panda needs to have some fun. Someone needs to feed Oral. <laughs> Bunny suit needs a shower. She's she's had no fun, no comfort, and she's super smelly. And uh, Robert can use some of that too. Oh, bunny suit, we got. Oh wait, I took the bed. I I'm sorry, bunny suit. I was like, I bought you a bed that I went to sleep in. Ah, uh, sorry. Just go eat your can food, your flow floor food, and be happy. Yep, she's gonna come out there and be mad. Oh, wait, no, that's me. Oh, she wants to talk to me. Oh, no, I feel bad. My suit is like, I wanna talk to you. Sorry. Sleeping in your bed. Looks like Robert and Eccentric have hit it off. Like, I like sunglasses. I love sunglasses. They're the things I wear on my face. I like to wear ladies on my face. That's why I dress like a pimp. That's what Robert says. True story. He tell his wife that. <laughs> I'm sure she would appreciate it. Bunny suit, go take a shower. 
For days you've been like, I'm stinky. Go take, we have showers. Are they not good enough for you? Are they not good enough for you? Go take a shower. Why won't you take a shower, buddy suit? Oh, Robert. Oh God, Robert just fell down. Robert, we have couches to sleep on now. This isn't like the old days where you have to sleep on the floor or sleep standing up. Hell, there's a bed open since Bob Bobberson got out of it. Wait, did he come over here just to go sleep on the couch? Wasn't he sleeping in a... Oh, I guess he wasn't sleeping. He must have went to go get it one. Oh, look, the fuck nuggets are having a fuck nugget party. Bunny suits, I can tease you now. She's like, hey, eccentrics. You, you're like this, <laughs> Oh, she's like, back to cleaning up this shithole. <sighs> oh, she just made the pile dirtier. Are you gonna take a shower on your own? I don't know. This... We really, they need to take Oral from here. <laughs> I would love to help protective services to show up. That's his bed. Why is there a woman in it? Ah, he's a boy. He'll like having a woman in the bed. You can pretend he's a Mac. Bunny suit. Yeah, I know. You're un... Oh, she's going to pass out. That's not going to be good. There's nothing like a good night's sleep to restore a sagging, ooh, it's sagging, energy bar for a short-term fix. Try a nap or a hot cup of coffee. Yeah, there you go, Mareth. You guys don't have to have the buddy system when you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> like, let's poop together. Friends in the end. Bunny suit, please find a place to sleep or take a shower. Oh. There you go, conk. <laughs> is the centric going to leave? <laughs> oh wait, why did the uh oh Stoey Pad get up? Why is the centric Oh Thanks for coming in and talking to someone you don't know. He's like, it's too late, I gotta go. Hey, at least we finally got some neighbors. We still gotta get the Marstons over, but Everybody should screenshot this right here. This is what our house is all about. Trash everywhere. People passed out on the floor. You would think we're all a bunch of drunks. Oh. Uh, this is too cool. What are you, what are you doing, Snowy Panda? Oral's broken. He just started laughing to himself. He's like... I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take living with these people. Not that I blame him. Oh, don't don't jump in the trash pile. That's a good trash pile. Don't fuck it up. We don't even have enough money for a maid. You know, I bet if I call a maid for one day, she'll clean it up and then she won't get paid because we don't have enough money. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna stiff her if I can. I'm going to call a maid. Oh, don't y'all. Oh, poor Oral. Now even Snowy Panda's showing them. Oh. Uh oh, do we not have enough money for food? That's bad. Especially as Oral's not. Oral may not have eaten for days. <laughs> That's really bad. Let's speed things up a little bit. Uh, at least he's cleaning the house. He's awesome. I like how Snowy Panda just spent 10 of her last $13 on a meal for herself, which she's hiding in the corner eating. She's like, there's no food. Oh, <laughs> uh, everyone is like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> And stinky. Poor bunny suits having the worst time. How, how do they not like this room? There's trash everywhere. That's fantastic. Why not? Oh. Uh. 
This house is not full of nice people. I've just... Everybody's like, I'm gonna tease you or scare you. Okay, Super Paul, get up. Haven't you had enough rest? Get up and call a maid. We're gonna hire a maid and we're gonna stiff her. She likes it stiff. We're just not going to pay her. Oh, don't complain, Super Paul. You live in your creepy fucked up bedroom. That's all good. We definitely need another bed. And some out outer stuff on our drywall. So the rain doesn't fuck it up. Yes, we want to hire a maid for $10 an hour. We'll pay her assuming that she is there when we get home from work. If she leaves before we get home from work, she's not getting paid. Sorry, lady. Sucks to be you. So what else does Super Paul need to do? He can't eat. Turn on the TV. Cause you're not gonna play the guitar? <laughs> Turn on the TV. <laughs> hey everybody, it's TV time. Oh, sorry I woke you up. I wanted to watch TV. We're gonna switch to cartoons. No, we're gonna switch to horror. You probably don't need to switch to horror because they're already living in a horror house. Bunny Sue, are you gonna finally go take a shower? Are you gonna finally go go take a shower? Snowy Panda, come watch TV with me. I know you're not happy with the, but come watch TV. <laughs> These people are very free with their hands in this house. Okay, Bunny Sue, either go take a shower or come. Come on, Bunny Sue, tell me you're gonna go take. No, you're gonna s uh, sit in that chair. Do you not know how to use showers? Are you scared of water? It's okay, I have a fear of deep bodies of water. Yeah, sorry, Bob Bobberson, there ain't no food. We're broke as can be. Oh, Bunny Sue, quick clean the house. Come watch TV. Come watch TV. No. Let's see, how you doing, Oral? C plus. I don't know how low that's got to go before they take us away. Oh. See, when Oral gets, grows up and gets his own place, he's going to have the neatest house ever. His kids are going to be like, Dad, why do you clean all the time? He's like, you don't know what it was like when I had to grow up. How terrible it was. <laughs> Go take a shower, buddy suit. Go take a shower. I don't want to break my rule of not interfering with the way you guys behave. Come watch TV with me. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, next time, I don't know what we're going to do next time, but at least we finally met some of the neighbors. We get met a couple of the fuck nuggets. Hopefully, we'll be able to get more of them to come over and get the Marstons over before too long, too. So, um, oh, yay, Bunny Suit's hanging out with me. I probably don't want to sit so close. You kind of stink, lady. You don't, you don't shower. <laughs> I'm like, I like ties. I'm a nerd. <laughs> do you like ties, Bunny Suit? Come on. Oh, she doesn't. Fuck you. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody. <laughs>